Prince, age 11, supporting a local teachers union strike in Minneapolis. Marva Collins, a trailblazing American educator. What do these two legends have in common? Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as we explore teachers and learning. I think they should get a better education too, cause, um, and I think they should get some more money, cause they work, be working extra hours for us, and all that stuff. He speaks more about and all that stuff in a sit down with Arsenio. If you weren't Prince, what would you do for a living? You know. <laughs> I mean, because I know there was a point where you maybe thought about something else. What would you do? Well, uh... I can't see you at the bank. He went yeah. to the bank with the word. When I was uh, 16, uh -huh. I was completely broke and needed to go get a job. So I got the Yellow Pages out, and I couldn't find one thing that I wanted to do. So I decided I was going to push as hard as I could to be a musician and win at it, you know? Can't knock Prince on the drive and hustle to secure the bag, but hang on, a reality moment. Um, I was thinking about your question a second ago. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'd want to teach in some capacity if I didn't. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of fine musicians in the group right now, and I'm learning from them. So as much as I'd like to teach, I also like to learn. Or help others to learn. In 1985, Prince donated 500000 to Marva Collins' Westside Preparatory School, 270000 for acquisition of property for her teacher training center. What you're about to see is a daily ritual of how children learn to read. Again, the key is consistency. Prince also brought Miss Collins over into his music world. In 1995, Marva Collins made a cameo appearance in Prince's video for the song, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World, although this was not her first time on national television. Sixteen years ago, we broadcast a story about Marva Collins, the Chicago teacher who started her own elementary school on the city's west side, West Side Prep. Marva claimed that with love, hard work, and no-nonsense teaching, inner-city children could compete with anyone academically. You have it all here on West Adams Street, all the familiar big city blight. The forever broken windows, the burnt out flats, the disemboweled abandoned cars. And then you have 3819 West Adams. The Canterbury Tales are about whom? Jeffrey Charles. They are about whom? The how, many how, how many were there? There are no frills at West Side. The emphasis is on basic education, with an even stronger emphasis on literature and composition. Literature and composition are two key components in screenwriting. Prince made movies, which we can talk about in another video, but Marva Collins had the Marva Collins story made about her. The 1991 Lifetime movie starred Cicely Tyson and Gordon Creed. In 1975, a school teacher who lived and taught in one of Chicago's most distressed areas became disenchanted with public education. Convinced that the failure of children to learn was the result of bureaucratic red tape and apathetic teachers, she rebelled and challenged the system. That teacher is Marva Collins, and this is her story. Coming back full circle, Prince at age 11 spoke on local television of his support for teachers and their unionized strike. He then acted on it by donating to education systems around the world. Prince became a huge benefactor of teaching pioneer and Alpha Kappa Alpha member Marva Collins. Prince also engaged in many opportunities to be a teacher through his music, lyrics, and beliefs. <laughs> In 1987, he released his song titled Starfish and Coffee on his ninth studio album, Sign of the Times. In the lyrics, he positions himself third in line of children in the classroom of teacher Miss Kathleen. The song tells the story of Cynthia Rose, an autistic child who is more different than the others in his grade school class. As seen in this episode of The Muppets, Prince was ahead of the class when it came to educating controlling authorities on how to phonically write and pronounce his then symbolized name. Now, uh, what can I do for you? I'm guest starring on the show tonight. Uh-huh, and uh, your name, sir? Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm the artist formerly known as Prince. Ooh, and I'm the bear currently known as Not Amused. <laughs> now, uh, your name again, please. 
My name has no sound. It's unpronounceable. Look, fella, this kind of monkey business might have kept you out of the draft, but you ain't gonna fool me, you know? Uh, how would your name appear on my list here? Like this. So I decided I was gonna push as hard as I could to be a musician. In 2004, Prince and the new power generation called this type of teaching musicology. Y'all feel that? Musicology. Schools in people. Lesson number one. Her name is Rhonda. And she is funky. What's her name? And what? Learning lesson well class, say it. And what? Tell me what her name is. What? Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who do not know, this is a trombone. The shows remain electric, intense, and educational. You may have even learned a new dance. I was thinking about your question a second ago. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'd want to teach in some capacity.